All right, hey guys, we're here at SHOT, and this is kind of what I'd really like to consider a sort of unicorn of SHOT, because I've been wanting to get my hands on this sucker for a while. What we're looking at here is a Knight's LMG, and I'm here with Jack. Jack, thank you very much hey, for absolutely. coming out. Good to be here. We appreciate uh, Knight's taking the time to show off the LMG and really just give an appreciation of it. Um, obviously, there's no civilian commercial sales of it, but just from a military small arms historical point of view, I think this is fascinating because you're bringing back, you know, one of Stoner's designs and making it better. So I'm going to stop talking right there and I'm going to let you take up the rest of the video. Please. All right, thanks. So uh, this is a Knight's uh, Light Assault Machine Gun, LAMG. Uh, we chose to use a kind of more definitive term to define what it does. It's not an M249. While it's you know, usable in a squad, and that's the point of it, is to give that firepower inside a squad, especially a high-density belt-fed firepower. Um, you know, it's not really a technically a light machine gun tactical task. Um, so it, it has something. It's neat. You know, there's something about it that, that's really special in what it does, um, and why a, a 249 just can't occupy that same space. Um, the most important thing about this gun is it just shoots super soft. It has a low rate of fire. It's really easy to drive. Um, it runs on constant recoil, so your buffer never hits the interior of the upper receiver. Um, so by maintaining that kind of action, um, it makes a gun naturally shoot, shoot soft and shoot slow. You've decreased the impulse coming from the back, right? Absolutely, yeah. You're not getting that double impulse of the shock, then the spring action, the, the, the clash of the spring, the hit of the spring, and you know, you're going to eat the return forward as always. But that's right when the gun's going off the next time. It helps drive the gun. Okay. So rate of fire is right around 550 to 575 rounds per minute, Very which is a really easy drive. Gotcha. Um, FYI, get on the internet and you can see videos of Reed Knight, um, the guy who designed this and owns Knight's Harmonet, um, literally shooting this thing just like this, just what, going bang, 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 and I think he's even shooting it from the pistol grip at oh, one yeah, point. He'll, he'll go up and do like an overhead yeah. uh, shooting, yeah, it's, it's, it's really cool to watch. Uh, just, just somebody so familiar with the gun, so comfortable with the gun. Mm -hmm. it's, it just demonstrates how light it is and how controllable it is. So it's interesting, it appears that a lot of this falls on um, saw stuff as well, because you're using the saw, what, 100 round nutsack here, um, in addition to a lot of the, some of the equipment there, so it's going to literally fill the place of a 249. Yeah, I mean, you know, it'll fit all your standard uh, ammo boxes or also soft packs. Yep. So, you know, 100 round or even the 200 round soft packs, really good option for that. I mean, the idea of the gun is to keep it light. Yep. You know, it's, it's made to pick up and run with into an objective. And so looking at the end, what I initially thought were Atlas bipods, because they're just very popular over the market, but taking a closer look, these are your bipods. You oh, actually yeah. make them. Yeah, they're, they're really needed. Uh, I came out of a program. Um, that uh, we realized we had some really good opportunity. We simplified that and made it a little bit stronger, um, but it's a really good bipod, and it's got this really neat position, so you know, you got like your 90 there, you know, you got your 45 there, but then this position right there, uh, whatever's between, uh, you know, 90 and, and 180, it's, it's that number. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really cool. Uh, it's a cool position, it's a cool gun, it's easy to load it that way. Um, you can drive the gun around. If you're in the prone with the bipods down and on it, I mean, just sitting there and just crushing steel, it's just a test plate at 200 constantly over and over. It's one of the only machine guns I know of that a, a decent operator can just pick up with from the standing and just drill an entire uh, belt right into a chest plate. So you've also got this option of taking off the buttstock, which yep, goes I that way. down. Gotcha, couldn't figure that out. Yep. So the cool thing about this, there is nothing inside of here. It's just a tube um, that we can put a stock on. So the, the need was, hey, I just want to use whatever stock I've got in my arms room. You can use it. But because we don't have any requirement to have any kind of, uh, of a buffer or a hydraulic buffer inside here, we can do anything with this stock. So whether it's super classable stock, side folders, or just if you're running into a vehicle and you just want to take this off and ride dirty, it's a lot easier to do it that way. All right, so another thing I noticed on here is you incorporated a sweet little doodad here where <laughs> you pop the receiver cover and as you push down, it's actually pressing in on the barrel changing lever. So as you push in, now you can push the barrel out like that. And am I correct in assuming there will be a barrel changing uh, handle, a part of it? This part of it. Versions? So this one's set up as a, you know, pretty much a pure assaulter version. Gotcha. You know, it's made for the guy that is most likely not going to carry a spare barrel. He's not going to shoot enough to need it. He's literally he's picking up, you know, he's got 600 rounds on body. He's just going in that's well inside where that gun can handle without needing a barrel change. Uh, so it's a, it's a heavy barrel made for that higher density of fire. Uh, but yeah, we do have other versions which have a barrel change handle so you can get it on and off. You, know, you can rotate your barrels, you know, whenever you're doing your, your more classic machine gunnery tasks. Gotcha. This is 
this is just slaying bodies with the cyclic, essentially. Oh yeah, well it's a slow cyclic, yeah, it's, it's really neat. I mean, it's it changed a lot of ways where you, the way that you use a machine gun in the assault, um, you know, one of the big things is just, you know, to, to deny an area, you know, the, being able to put constant fire is what makes that happen. And so it's that time between the first shot and the last shot inside of that burst that's effective. Um, and so by lowering that cyclic rate, you're actually reducing the amount of ammo needed to, to effectively uh, sustain fire on an area. Um, so, you know, we can go through a suppression mission oh, yeah. with less ammo. Yeah, and get the, reach that mission objective the at the same, same time. Yeah. Wow. Well, guys, that is the uh, that is the Knights L A M G L A M G L A M G um, Sto Eugene Stoner's genius perfected by Reed Knight. Thank you very much, Jack. I really appreciate you coming Absolutely. out. Absolutely, good to be here. And I'm very glad we were able to get our hands on it. Hopefully, we can get able to get our hands on shooting it as well later yeah, on. Stand by for some live fire. Awesome, that's great. Have a good show. Super, you too. Cool.